वेलकम टू लर्नर्स प्लानट माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज सेशन थ्री अबाउट अमेजिंग एनिमल्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फीडिंग हैबिट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एनिमल्स एंड द बॉडी कवरिंग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एनिमल्स राइट एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस लेसन विद सम मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट अमेजिंग एनिमल्स सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट ऑर्गेन्स फॉर ब्रीदिंग एंड द मूवमेंट of different animals different movement of different animals right so let's start with this session children organs for breathing children as you know that different types of animals have different organs for breathing like for example lungs an adult frog breathes through its lungs on land and it breathes through its moist skin when it is in water right how amazing it is right so this is a one such picture of lungs you can see here so this type of organ is present in adult frog even this is present in other types of animals also like birds reptiles and mammals they also breathe through lungs and even some animals breathe through a nose like human beings human beings and sheep are examples of such animals who breathe through nose but from the nose air is carried to the special organs called as lungs right so we can just imagine that how beautiful god has made such type of organs for breathing right let's move on to another organ of for breathing of different animals yes gills gills are also considered as the organ for breathing in animals like fishes tadpoles tadpole known as baby frog then oysters prawns and crabs these are all such animals that breathe which breathe through gills as you can see here in this picture this pink color is representing the gills present in the fishes right so this kind of organ is present in such kind of animals right let's move on to another category of sorry another organ for breathing yes spiracles spiracles are what are spiracles actually yes they are the series of tiny holes which are present along the side of some animals bodies and these holes are called as spiracles so insects have tiny air holes on their bodies known as spiracles to breathe as you can see here in this picture this is a picture of spiracles very closer view of spiracles these are present in the insect means the tiny holes which are present along their side of their bodies they are able to respire from these tiny holes which are called as spiracles let's move on to another organ yes body surface body surface means simply we can consider as skin right there are some microscopic animals like amoeba that exchange gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide through their body surface as you can see in the picture that amoeba do not amoeba does not have any specific organ for respiration or specific organ for respiring right so so animals like amoeba they will exchange their gases through their body surface means we can say that through their skin or we can consider it as body surface right there are other animals also which breathe through this kind of body surface like frog and earthworm they are the examples of such animals that breathe through their moist skin frog also breathe breathes through lungs as we discussed adult frog that breathes through lungs when on land right so we can just say that frog and earthworm also breathe through their moist skin and frogs have other organ like lungs to breathe right so these are some of the animals that have organs for breathing now we discussed about all some of the animals and the breathing organs and their breathing organs right but have you ever thought that why is breathing important for the animals yes animals get oxygen while breathing which burns the food within their bodies and they get energy to do the work and that is why breathing is very much important for animals and uh, different organs are present in different kind of animals 
So we discussed about the organs for breathing. Let's move on to another topic that is the movement of animals. Right? So different types of animals have different organs for movement also. Like they have different organs for breathing. Same way they have different organs for movement also. Like land animals have four limbs. Which, are, which four limbs? They are divided into two. Like four limbs, F-O-R-E and hind limbs. So what are, the, what are the four limbs and the hind limbs? What is meant by these terms? The two limbs in the front are called as four limbs and the, the two limbs which are present at the back are known as the hind limbs in animals. Right? So we can say that land animals have total four limbs two fore limbs F-O-R-E and two hind limbs right do not be mistaken between this four and so four now limbs. let's discuss about some of the examples of such animals having these kind of limbs and where do they use and how do they use yes there are some examples like lizards and crocodile they move by crawling but they do have limbs then do their movement is by crawling. Snakes do not have legs and that is why they crawl. So this is the main difference between these reptiles. These all are reptiles but the main difference between the snake and lizard and crocodile is that lizards and crocodile move by crawling even have even if they have even they are having limbs but snake do not have legs that is why they crawl. Right? No other option. Right? So let's move on to another example. Yes, some use some animals use four limbs to walk, run, or jump, while some use only the hind limbs. Right. So some of the animals who use all the four limbs are like four limbs, like F O R E four limbs. They use that four limbs also and hind limbs also. Right. While some Animals like kangaroo use only hind limbs as you can see here in this picture. So this must be clear to you. Right. Let's move on to another example. Yes. Birds. Birds have wings. Like we discussed examples of the animals having limbs. Birds do not have limbs. And that is why we can say that they have wings which help them in flying. Right. Birds have wings which help in flying and the four limbs of the birds are modified into wings which have feathers. So there are flightless birds like some birds are unable to fly because their wings are very weak for flying. They are too weak to fly. For example, kiwis, ostrich, emu etc. And rest of the birds who whose limbs are modified into wings and their wings are too strong to fly which have feathers so they are able to fly right let's move on to another examples yes frogs frogs swim with the webbed toes so you can just see here that frogs have such type of adaptation like webbed toes right so we can say that frogs swim with the help of their webbed toes. Here you can see in this picture, this is their webbed toe. When they are on land, they use hind legs or hind limbs to jump. And they swim with the help of their webbed toes. Even the fishes swim with the help of fins. So this is another type of organ of movement for fishes. Because fishes do not have webbed toes or limbs like us, like limbs like other animals. So they swim with the help of their fins. As you can see here in this picture, these are the fins, right? So these are some of the organs of movement present in such type of animals. Let's move on to another, sorry, other examples. Yes, tortoise. As you can see here in this picture, tortoise use four paddle like limbs to push themselves towards water right so we can say just tortoise use four paddle limbs to push themselves towards water and penguins use four two four limbs as flippers as you can see here in this picture 
These are the flippers. So penguins use two forelimbs as flippers to push water forward. Right? So you can just imagine that so amazing animals have such an amazing organ of movement. So different different type of movements can be observed in water animals, in land animals and even in birds. Now let's move on to another category of animals. Yes, insects. Some insects like butterfly have one or two pairs of wings for flying. Just like birds have wings modified as feathers for flying, their forelimbs are modified as wings which are termed as feathers. Right? Same way in the insects like butterfly have one or two pairs of wings for flying and the wings are very different from those of the birds because the main difference between these insects and the birds is that birds have feathers but insects do not have feathers. So always remember this difference between the insects and the birds. So we discussed one such example of butterfly. They have no feathers but they do have wings and they are made of tiny colored scales right so they are they are made up of tiny colored scales which make them very beautiful and some also have six legs for movement for example cockroaches and ants and even grasshoppers use hind limbs for them right so we discussed many examples of such animals which have other other type of which has different type of organs of movement but why is this movement important for animals yes it is this movement is important for animals because animals need to search for food animals have to protect themselves from enemies and animals need to build the resting places like birds do birds build their nests right so movement is very much important for animals and that is why it is present in such amazing animals. Right, so we discussed about organs of breathing, organs for breathing and even the organs of movement which are present in these different types of animals. Right, now let's move on to one another interesting topic and let us know about some interesting facts about these animals. Right. So the first interesting fact about one such animal is a rat. A rat can survive longer than a camel without water. Oh, how interesting. Then sharks are very healthy as they are immune to all the known diseases. Like we also have, we have immune system. Sharks also have a very powerful immune system. And that is why they are very healthy. You can just imagine, you must, you might have seen live or you must have seen, you might have seen it in television, right? That sharks are so very healthy. Why? Because they are immune to all the known diseases. Then there are 701 types of pure breed dog, dogs in the world. So you can just think that how many dogs are there in the world. Then the spine-tailed swift is the fastest bird which is flying at the speed of 170 kilometers per hour. So you can just imagine that at the speed of 170 kilometers per hour means how fast this bird actually flies. And this bird's name is spine-tailed swift. Another interesting fact is about squirrels. Squirrels accidentally plant millions of trees as they bury their nuts and then they forget that where they are. So this is one most interesting fact about the squirrels. Right? Another example is insects and fish have no eyelids. Like we have beautiful eyelids but insects and fish have no eyelids. They instead they have hardened lens that protect their eyes. Like eyelids are present in us in human beings and they protect our eyes. In the same way, insects and fish have, uh, for their protection of, of their eyes, they have hardened the lens instead of having eyelids, right? So these are some of the interesting facts about some animals. So I hope that you enjoyed this session by learning all such amazing 
things about amazing animals and some interesting facts i'm sure you might have enjoyed some interesting facts about and and know and knew about many animals right so we will meet in the next session with a new lesson till then keep learning keep enjoying and keep collecting the information about amazing animals <laughs>